Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Um, yes, these are the Deion Sanders Gold Shades. The Prime Shades. Brought to me by Blenders. Yes, I did buy them. And yes, they're expensive, but they are nice. You know what they say? Only champions wear gold. Do I think Colorado... Well, first and foremost, I think these guys are going to be a lot better on both sides of the ball. And now that he's recruiting and bringing in some really, really good offensive linemen, some big boys up front, does that guarantee Colorado to be great? No. But it does guarantee Colorado to be better on both sides of the ball, especially offensively. You know, Shador Sanders, poor guy, he got hit so much last year. And he clearly is one of the better quarterbacks in the country. I do think he would be a first-round pick this year. At worst, second-round pick because, you know, other positions. That's some good pre-workout, by the way. But, um, yeah, I do think Colorado is going to be a lot better. And given the conference that they're competing in, I think it'll be better for them. I do think that they'll be successful in the Big 12. The two main teams that would give Colorado the most concern, what to me would be Utah and Oklahoma State. Because Oklahoma State's a really good football team. They're not elite, but they're really good. They're well coached. Mike Gundy's a winning coach. And on the other side, you got Kyle Whittingham and the Utah Utes. Utah's also not the most talented team, but they're very well coached. And Kyle Whittingham might be a better coach than, uh, than Gundy. Who knows? They might be about the same. Heck, they both coach forever. Both great coaches. Um, so, and now that Colorado's already had one year with Deion Sanders in his system, they've gone through a lot. Now I think Deion Sanders has a better idea of what will work and what won't work for his program. And it shows in the transfer portal. Bigger and stronger offensive linemen. Uh, some more talent on both sides of the ball in general. He still has Shador Sanders. Travis Hunter is still there. And other playmakers around him. Uh, I think if that defense just gets a little bit better, they continue to be good forcing turnovers like they did a lot last year. They get some kind of... Here's the thing. Your running game wasn't very good for Colorado, right? But if that passing game is still good, and the running game is even average at best, you know, that would be huge for Colorado because now the passing game is more dangerous than what it already is, and you have some running game. And that will automatically be improved because bigger offensive linemen that probably will play better. So I think Colorado is 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 lined up for a really good season. No less than eight wins, nine wins. No less than eight wins. Let's be fair. It's the second year. But I wouldn't be surprised if they made a made a jump at the college football playoff given the 12-team playoff system that's coming up. So I think Deion Sanders is doing good. I think Colorado is doing really good. And I'm, I mean, hey, I'm wearing these shades. Yes, I'm a fan of Deion Sanders and what he's doing. But these are some really nice shades. You can't lie. Man. <laughs> but yeah, Colorado's going to be a threat next year. Mark my words. They've been through the rough times. I said they weren't going to be re re very good in 23. Now it's 24. Different story. I'm telling you now. Look out for Colorado.